Hi guys, I'm Jen Johns. Welcome back to the channel. If you follow me on my social media, specifically my Instagram, you will have seen tons of pumpkin spice pictures lately because it's my favorite thing about fall. So today I'm going to be showing you two different pumpkin spice recipes. What I've got for you is a pumpkin spice frappuccino and I'm also going to be showing you how to make a pumpkin pie blizzard. Now a frappuccino is a really cool icy drink. It's absolutely delicious with a little bit of coffee. You don't have to add that if you don't want to, but with the pumpkin spice and the whipping cream on top, it's delicious. Now the pumpkin pie blizzard is also amazing. It's got basically a pumpkin pie wrapped up with ice cream and how could you be any more delicious than that? Let's get started on these tutorials. So we're starting with the pumpkin spice syrup. So we're going to need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. We're also going to need one cup of white granulated sugar, about one and a half cups of water, just room temperature is fine. And then for the spice portion, we're going to be using half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. We need one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and we need a quarter cup of pumpkin that's pureed. You could use fresh or you can use canned. And of course you need a pumpkin buddy. So we're going to bring our brown sugar, our white sugar and our water to about, we just wanna make sure that we get it nice and warm so that the sugar is able to dissolve here. So I've got my temperature on medium. Now medium low is probably even best there. Pouring my water into there and I'm going to put my white sugar in as well. And then while it's coming to temperature, we're just going to break, like probably let it go for about five minutes or so. It's probably all you're going to need. You do wanna be really careful that you don't let this mixture boil, and especially after we add the rest of the stuff, because we're not looking for caramel, we just want a nice syrup. So once the sugar has dissolved, I'm gonna turn the temperature right down to low, and I'm going to add in my other elements. So I've got my pumpkin here, and I'm gonna get all of that delicious pumpkin in there and then all of the spices as well. And I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to switch to a whisk because I want to make sure it's all incorporated. And then we're going to let this thicken and it's going to be probably about eight to 10 minutes. Remember, you want to make sure that it doesn't come to a boil. You just want to let it just kind of simmer here and be nice and hot. Um, you don't want to make that caramel. Once the mixture has thickened a bit, we're going to turn off the temperature completely and it will continue to thicken as it cools. Here I have set up a sieve with my bowl underneath. You wanna make sure it's a really fine sieve. If you can't find a fine sieve, you're gonna to wanna to try it using um, cheesecloth that will help work as well. So just going to take my liquid and pour it into the pot here. And I'm just, it's gonna catch any of those big crumbles of pumpkin or any of the big spices. Once I've got this all poured into here, I'm going to let it cool and it want to get it to like just set, probably room temperature is good. Uh, you can pop it into the fridge in order to speed that process up. Once your pumpkin spice syrup has, has cooled, it's going to be thicker and we're going to pour in the vanilla at that point when it's nice and cool. And you can just stir that up like this. I'm going to be using it in pumpkin spice frappuccinos, but you can also use it in pumpkin spice lattes and you can also put it in a jar and give it away as a gift. You wanna keep it in the fridge and it'll last for about a week. To make our pumpkin spice frappuccinos, we're going to be using our pumpkin spice syrup, probably about a quarter of a cup to a half a cup. You can use it to taste. Now we're also going to whip up some whipping cream. That's what I've got here, heavy cream. Whip it up and you'll have a nice topping. We're also going to need about a cup of milk. You can go um, more or less depending on how you want it to taste. We've got a couple of cups of ice and we're going to be using a like an espresso cup full of espresso. If you don't want to put in the coffee, you don't have to, or you can use a about a half a cup of a strong coffee instead of espresso. So I've got my ice in my blender and I'm going to add everything else into it. So I'm going to start with my espresso here. You wanna make sure that your espresso is cold so it doesn't melt your ice. Along with your milk, you wanna have nice cold milk. And then you can top in your, um, your simple syrup here, pumpkin spice flavored. Pop the lid onto the blender and then blend away. When it's blended, you can pour it into your favorite cup, nice and thick drink here, and you can top it with the whipped whipping cream. You can even mix in some of the pumpkin spice spices into the whipping cream if you want to, and then top it with a little bit of nutmeg, and you've got yourself a pumpkin spice frappuccino. 
To make our pumpkin pie blizzard, we're going to be using two cups of vanilla ice cream, about a quarter of a cup of baked pie crust. I have a recipe for homemade pies in the description box below. We're going to need about a quarter of a cup of pureed pumpkin. You can use canned or fresh. And we're going to need about three quarters of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So here I have the base of my immersion blender. And what I'm going to do is take the ice cream and get the ice cream all into here. It's the perfect height for doing this. You can do this with a regular blender if you choose, but I'm always looking for an excuse to, to use the immersion blender because it's my totally my favorite appliance I have. So into that, I'm going to add the pumpkin here. So get the pumpkin into there. And with like with the frappuccino as well, you can change the amounts that I've put in that I'm putting in. You can customize it to your taste. In goes the spice. You can add more pumpkin, you can add more spice. Totally up to you. I'm gonna take my immersion blender and mix it up. Once the ice cream, the pumpkin, and the spices are mixed together, you can add in some of the pie crust. Again, you can do more or less. Now you can mix the pie crust as well with the blender if you want to, but I like the larger chunks, which is why I'm mixing that in like this. So that's all there is to this part. Once everything is mixed together, you can pop it into your favorite cup, your favorite mug, or even a bowl. This is nice and thick. If it comes out too thin, you can always pop it back into the freezer for a little bit. Put your straw, put your spoon in there, and then no pumpkin pie is complete without whipping cream, in my opinion, and finish it off with a little bit of nutmeg. So there you go, everybody, two super delicious pumpkin spice recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials. If you have a fellow pumpkin spice lover, make sure you share the video with them and give the video a like because we're trying to get to 2 million subscribers and we're almost there. And your liking and sharing and commenting on the video all helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. Go Team Pumpkin Spice! Woo!